Good evening everyone. It's Boxing Day evening and it's now 6.43. Here's something that sounds a bit like music. I think it's music, anyway. Um, I've got a cold coming on so my throat feels like all scratchy at the minute and I woke up with a sore throat and I'm snotting a little bit as well. Anyway, Christmas Day was excellente. Um, a few bits I got, I've got some MLP merch there. Two flash eye lamps. I just simple change colour LED lamps just see a glowing red now a yellowy green yeah both mum and my sister got me one <laughs> never mind I uh, also got socks and boxer shorts you know it's kind of an a, obligatory pre present get them every year to me it wouldn't be Christmas if I didn't get them um, got some t-shirts up there, I got the uh, radio, crystal radio which I've built up, I just need to experiment with it and see if I can get it to actually find a station. Uh, some novelty toilet paper, it's actually got jokes printed on it. Uh, I'll show you all that in a minute, but I want to show you these, look. <laughs> it's going to get in the way there of the um, mouse, so that's not where it's going to live. I've just put it on there temporarily. Um, but then again, it's not in the way too much. I could move it further that way. Um, it's not actually where I wanted it. I wanted it to hang off of that shelf, but I haven't got the right bracket for that, so... Ain't gonna work. And uh, yeah, and this um, actual arm doesn't um, bend in the right direction for me to put it up there either. So, what I may end up doing is actually putting this condenser mic up as and when I need it. I feel all professional with that up there. <laughs> um, it's got XLR connections. And my brother even got me the little power supply. So I can use it as is. It is perfectly usable. Here's the little power brick for it, which is actually really light, but then again, it's only got to generate 48 volts, so that's really all it is. Oh, 18 volts in, so it converts 18 volts to 48 volts. An NW100. Um, but yeah, you have XLR to 3.5mm jack, which you plug into the microphone port. Or if you want to use it with specialist equipment like a, um, a mixer, you can just connect it with an ordinary XLR mic cable. Um, but uh, as I was saying, it's usable as it is, it does work. Done a Skype test call with it, it works. Ooh, pardon me. The um, disadvantage at the moment is if I needed or wanted to adjust things like gain and whatnot, I can't. Because <laughs> it's pretty much like a microphone on your camera, your web camera. It's um, fixed. So, I will most likely invest in a little mixer at some point. There are, my friend Mark Hyder was showing me some last night, and they're really not that expensive. I can get a cheap little one for it. Which I could actually keep on one of these shelves under the desk, actually. Oh, excuse me. So... I'm really, really thankful and grateful for that. That's an awesome bit of kit. Uh, 
That sounds like planes, I can hear. I don't know if that's my neighbour's TV and they've got like a war film on or something, but it sounds like that, you know. Very weird. Anywho, I really do like this mic. Quick release microphone up there, there's just a sp two spring ends up here. I'm not going to push them in, but if I push them in, the mic will drop out. So uh, if I wanted to use it on a stand or something, rather than this desk boom, then I could. But, uh... Cameras! Cameras in shot. Microphones in shot. But, uh... Yeah, if I want to, um... Do an OBS video, or a video through OBS, I'll probably use this one, uh, just for the better audio. So, I've got the um, pot filter as well, it came with that, that's over on the bench. You know, it didn't just come with the foam cover, the foam sock. Right, yeah, there's the pop filter. Here it is. There's two sort of elastic things to hook it on. But I don't know if I would leave the um, foam sock on, then put that on, or take the foam sock off and put that on. I'm, I'm not a sound engineer, I've got a lot to learn. Anyway, the next thing on the list. Look at that for a tiny little camera. It is a camera, it is real. I have opened it up, it is real. Um, unfortunately, this one doesn't work. Which is a bit of a shame. I was hoping it did, but never mind. Doesn't charge, doesn't turn on. So. I don't know if there's a switch issue because it doesn't actually feel right, that switch. If I'm honest. The one on the other side actually goes click click, the one to switch it between um, photo and video modes. The power one doesn't, it just slides, so I'm guessing that might be the issue. But these are not expensive on eBay. I can actually go on eBay and get the exact same thing. Don't actually know what brand this is. Thumbs up, apparently, um, for seven pounds and forty-nine pence. It made me jump. He gave me no warning that he was going to do that. He just uh, got that. I can't remember. It was either off. The, it was off the ta Lego table, and then just jumped onto my lap. And I actually thought he was going to put his claws in. That's why I jumped. Hello. It's my moustache. So, my plan for the new year. In January. And I've already made up my mind I am buying these. No ifs, buts, or thinking about it. I don't care about that one. It don't work anyway. I'm going to buy one of those for $7.49. And I've also found, when I was looking for one of those, just to see how much they were, I also found a... Um, Sports camera for about twelve pounds. Um, so we've got to try one of those on the bike and see how it goes. Basically, may not be the best quality, but according to the advert, it uh, allegedly does 1080p and 720p high definition. Um, we'll find that out when I get it. Because um, I just thought that would be fun to use those sorts of cameras when I'm out and about because there's a lot of shops that don't like you uh, filming in them don't know why but never mind you know their shop their rules so I just thought a little one like that thumbs up thing I just dropped on the floor wearing something black like this with that on it they're not gonna notice it that well are they especially if I stick a bit of tape over the LEDs 
<laughs> I just thought that would be something interesting and different that I could do instead of the same four balls. <laughs> and it's inexpensive. So, uh, and it'll add a bit of variety to the channel, which is what I'm hoping to do in the new year. A bit more variety, so it's not mostly just vlogs or me putting something together. <laughs> oh, I've got DVD to watch as well. I've seen the first one of this. Well, I haven't seen that one yet. But even though that was actually out on DVD. I've got this feeling I'm going to wake up in the morning with a raging sore throat. So if you don't get a video from me for a few days, you will know why. I've already done one of me assembling this one, which is a bit crappy, but I can't really redo it now because I've assembled it and I can't really dismantle it. So a crappy video will have to do what I think it's crappy anyway. You might see that one before this one, so you can judge and leave it in the comments. I don't know which way I'm going to upload them yet. I've also got one on the PC to uh, edit and upload. Anywho. Oh, bedroom. Bedroom, bedroom, bedroom. That's the next thing. I'm hoping I've got enough change in my bank account to go and get an LED bulb. So I can do this and that'll be another video I could do if I'm feeling up to it tomorrow and my throat doesn't feel like it's got a bunch of sandpaper shoved down it. This bedroom light I'm going to change. In fact I'm going to swap some lights around. The bedroom light here, the three way spots, going in the kitchen. So I can get rid of that poxy fluorescent light. This, my globe, is going to go up here. Because uh, the problem is, these spotlights lighting up this room, because I do do things like fix the bikes in here, and the light is crap for that. It's good enough, you know, when I'm going to bed or chilling out in here. But I've actually noticed with these spotlights in particular, there's a lot of dark spots. Which ain't no good, I mean, look. I don't know if it's going to show up that well on camera. No, actually it looks perfectly fine on camera. <laughs> So uh, I feel like a change and I want some LED lights in the kitchen. So I figured I'll just swap things around now. So hopefully if I'm feeling up to it and I've got the money I'll uh, go grab an LED bulb and that will be another video I can make. Obviously I'll have to start in here. And go through all the safety procedures. I would have got the bulb today, but I don't think QD stores was open anyway. And just asked me if I have a 12 volt negative ground and I'm just like, a what? <laughs> I have no idea. I've got a suspicion. Now that I think about it, I've got, I think I know what he means now. Um, with power adapters, like this one here, for example. You know, wall warts as they're also known. The plugs. The outside is usually negative and the centerpiece is positive. On the odd occasion, some devices like to be awkward and do it round the other way. Where this bit is positive and the center pin is negative. I wonder if that's what he's uh, looking for. If he wants to pop up, he can. It's probably better that he does it tonight because uh, I've got a funny feeling I'm going to be feeling like a sack of shit in the morning. I can just. You just know, right? 
and actually if he wants to pop over he can and I'd rather he actually did that now because I want to get a bath, a nice hot bath oh. you know, my nose, I can just feel mucus right in the back of my sinus and I can't get rid of it, it's been there all day all I want to keep doing is drinking because it soothes the throat and whatnot. Let me just read his message. Oh! I'm just going to tell him pop over if you like and we can. Look, why not? I'm in, a, I'm in a good mood for a change. Half the time I feel grumpy and antisocial and I don't know why I don't like it, but tonight I'm actually in a good mood. You can pop over if he wants. We can have a chat. So, in case he is, I'm going to end this video, keep it nice and short anyway, because it's killing my throat at the minute. I've got an ache either side here as well. This ear is starting to ache deep inside because it's aching down here. <coughs> yeah. Same with this one. Me think I've got a bit of a sinus cold. Thanks mum. I know exactly where that came from. Well actually maybe I should blame my brother as he started it. He gave it to mum and obviously I've been in contact with mum first before my brother so I've got it from her. She had it about a week ago and it can take a week to ten days to incubate before you actually start feeling the symptoms so yeah that would work out about right cheers mother <laughs> I have your freaking cold he might be on his way so I will say thanks a lot for watching like I said if it's gonna if you don't see no videos for a week or so and then you know why it's because I've got a rotten cold not feeling up to filming anything. I will try if there's something comes along. I'm not really concerned about having the cold. It just depends on my throat. Um, but like I said, I am hoping to get that other video done. I've got one on there and I've got two on here now by the time I'm done with this one. So I should have some content to cover me. That's my plan. Just, just in case I do fall sick. Anyway... Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you all again soon. Bye-bye.